Welcome to the 2014 Nike Explosion here at Wheeler High School, just outside uh, Atlanta, Georgia, here in Marietta. SUV TV has an all-day broadcast. I'm Jeff Benedict. Joined here on this individual broadcast is going to be my partner in crime, Marcus Burnett. Got a great four games on tap for you, starting off here with North Gwinnett, the uh, three and one Bulldogs taking on Lee out of Huntsville. Marcus, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a clash of styles here. <laughs> As Lee is known to get up and down the floor at a very quick pace, uh, scoring at will, uh, taking on uh, North Gwinnett that, uh, while 3-1 and one on the season, not really sure what you get out of him. Yeah, and I think a, a big part of that is, you know, Coach Zach Smith, he knew kind of coming in there would be some different roles for this team, and some of their team mantra has been star in your role. So they're going to have to have guys do that to win today. North Gwinnett wins the tip. Adam James with the ball up top for the Bulldogs. He gets it over quickly to Stackhouse. Yes, that is uh, Jerry Stackhouse's kid. Moves the ball around the perimeter. Nice shot there by North Gwinnett. Rebound to come down to Calhoun. Calhoun will be the player to watch here for the Bulldogs. Wears number 22 in the red, the red road jerseys. Ball will go out of bounds. It'll stay North Gwinnett basketball. They, go, they gave Stuckey a real good open look there in the corner for North Gwinnett. He doesn't miss too many of those, but for them to get that shot this early, not bad. Stuckhouse gets it in. Stuckey, though, able to knock down that second try. Stuckey with his first three of the game. Yeah, two for a dollar sale on threes there. He gets two open looks there on that first possession. Stuckey gets it up to James. James right to Stuckey. Skip pass over to Stackhouse, back up top to Calhoun. Calhoun's going to back it out, reset his offense. He'll be picked up defensively by Tracy Burnett, the long, the long guard there for Lee. Over to Stackhouse, puts on the four to his left, spin back to his right. He gets it up top to James. James thinks about it, stops, pops. Can't get that to drop, though. Calhoun, though, comes down with another offensive rebound. That's his third one here in the opening minutes. He's going to throw the ball away. So he tried to get it out to Stackhouse. Not able to do so. Hey, Cameron Calhoun. Blue guy would be an understatement as far as North Gwinnett is concerned. Responsible for so much offensively, a lot of times bringing the ball up, but also, like you said, the offensive rebounds as well. Action Ray gets it over in the corner. Evan Wiley. Wiley over to Burnett. Nice look in the middle there to Tr Tracy Burnett. Can't finish. However, Evan Wiley there to clean up the glass. Gets on the board quickly. 3-2 here now. North Gwinnett, first 90 seconds of, of the ball game. North Gwinnett back the other way. Calhoun, nice little dispatch over to James. James goes up, can't get it to fall. Ball will go out of bounds. It will go back to Lee High School. I'm not sure if, if this uh, this speed here fits North Gwinnett. As you see Lee quickly getting the ball up the field with uh, point guard Ashton Ray. Going to move the ball around the perimeter. Burnett goes baseline and kicks it out to Ray 4-3. Can't get that one to fall. Rebound grabbed quickly by Toyjik. And they'll get back the other door direction is Calhoun. Calhoun comes across. You don't you don't ever like to see guys pick up their dribble with nowhere to go with it. Able he's eight, la, la. he's able to get over to James. Nice ball movement down there. Stackhouse as he finishes at the rim. Stackhouse always contributes for this North Gwinnett team, and he does a great job of playing hard, but he doesn't do too much. Stays within his game. Basic but very effective player. Ray on the left side, over to Burnett. Make that system. System stops and drops from 17 feet. Drawn Sissom's first. He's probably one of two or three players here on the court to watch here today. Is the, the tall, lengthy kid for Lee High School. Calhoun the other direction gets over to Jack for another three. This one's short. Rebound grabbed quickly by Burnett. Make that Sisson. I'm sorry. Sisson up to Ray. Ray finds Wiley down below. Wiley able to complete the layup. It's now 6-5 Lee over North Gwinnett. That's big right there. When Ashton Ray is doing those kind of things, and I really started to see him do that in Mississippi at that Lighthouse Classic, they're a different ball team with all that length around them. Skip pass over to James, puts the ball on the floor, can't get it to fall. Rebound will come down to Malik Burnett. Burnett over to Ray. Ray finds Wiley down below. Wiley, another easy layup at the basket. That's six points here in the early going for Evan Wiley. And uh, Coach Smith has seen enough. He's going to take an early timeout. Replay here, sponsored by Nike. We'll see the uh, the alley oop to Wiley down below, off the glass and in, and that's going to cause Coach Smith over at North Gwinnett to take a timeout. Thirty second timeout. This is 
It's a little, little bit of a slow start here for, for Lee, but it looks like they're picking it up. Yeah, most definitely. And they, you know, we, we talked in pre-production about, you know, we see, we saw Lee in the Jericho Classic hosted by North Gwinnett a couple weeks ago. Was able to see them again in Corinth, Mississippi at the Lighthouse. And just the progress from that first time we saw him in that Pebblebrook onslaught, the one in which Pebblebrook went up 22-2 before they could even get off the bus good. They minimized the turnovers. You're seeing Ashton Ray really step it up as far as setting the tone from a point guard standpoint. And there's no reason why we're – I mean, that's the reason why we're seeing a better lead team here. Cam who will bring the ball up the fourth for the Bulldogs. He'll get over to Stackhouse. Lee out in a 2-3 zone. Jack Stucky over in the corner to Calhoun. Calhoun kind of stuck, stepped through the double team. Nice move over to Colby Leafs, and Leafs and gets away with it. Stackhouse throws up a floater air ball. Rebound will go out of bounds, and will go to Lee High School. Question for North Gwinnett, you know, you got to be able to curtail some of the scoring by Lee because I'm not sure if they can score at as high of a clip as Lee can if they get to running. Nice find in the middle of the system. System over. Nice job dumped down to Tracy Burnett. Burnett with his first bucket of the game. And now we see Lee out in a full court press. Calhoun with the basketball gets gets it over quickly to Toyjik. Toyjik finds Stackhouse in the middle. Back over to Calhoun. Calhoun cross court over to Stuckey. Stuckey in the corner to Leafs and Leafs and too long on that three. Rebound come down to Wiley. He gets it over, over to Ray. Ray throws up the oop. He's going to get called for a travel though. Turnover Lee. 10-5 Lee. 3:35 remaining here in the first corner. Your coach Brown, you don't want to travel there, but you know you can appreciate how Ashton Ray was in such a hurry to feed the big man up top there that that he traveled. It's still good momentum for them early on. He's getting those guys involved. Lee back in their full court. KJ Hancock in the game now for the Bulldogs. They get over to Calhoun. Calhoun over to Hancock. Hancock to the bucket, right hand can't get it to fall. Burnett up quickly to Ray. Ray one on one, throws it up off the glass, can't get it to fall. Rebound will come back down to Calhoun who comes out quickly the other direction. He gets away with the walk there. No, he doesn't. They do finally call that one. It was an easy call to make. Heard it best the other day by a coach. You can only play as fast as you can play without turning the ball over. And a uh, little bit, uh, again, that fast pace doesn't suit North Gwinnett as they come out in a 1-3-1. Tried to force the ball down, did action over to Evan Wiley. Lee able to hold on to it. He's going to get kicked out of bounds. I don't know why he waited 30 seconds to make that call, that kick ball call, but goes out of bounds. It'll stay Lee basketball. We're going to have DeAndre Rainey check in now for Lee. He replaces the point guard national race, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, they fare here with their backup point guard in the game. Rainey calling the play out. Over to Burnett, make that system. Over to Wiley, Wiley for three. Off the front of the rim, rebound grabbed by Hancock back the other direction as he's gonna get fouled from behind. Nice effort there by Sissom, but it's a dumb foul to pick up 50 feet away from the basket. You need those, you need to save those fouls, you know, being a shot blocker, as, as aggressive as he can be on the defensive end there. You know, save that foul where you can get the more bang for your buck. They get an inbounds to Calhoun. He'll take his time walking it up the floor. Lee in a 2-3. Nice penetrating kick there by Calhoun. Jack Stuckey knocks down his second three of the ball game. He's now two for four on the day. I know they didn't see Stucky play. He was, he was still nursing an injured foot there, there at that Jared Cook Classic, but you got to get your scouting report together soon. He can't have open threes from anywhere. We had a timeout on the court as the, uh, the net got caught up there on that Stucky three. Although it may be Stucky. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Stucky. Stucky. Burnett over to Burnett. Up top to Rainey. System pulls up from 12 feet. Can't get the foul. Gets his own rebound. Taps it up and in. They're actually going to credit Malik Burnett with that follow through. 12-8. Lee over North Gwinnett. 
that's where they're so dangerous, man. I mean, because when they're not turning the ball over, then not only do you have an athletic guy in, in a sism that's able to take that jump shot and hit it, but then you've got, you know, Tracy Burnett's and the Evan Wiley's there attacking the glass. Leafson up top to Calhoun. Over to Leafson back in the corner of Stuckey. They try to drop Stuckey. He smartly got the ball away quickly. Over to Calhoun. Stops, pops from the free throw line off the back of the glass. Rebound up in the air to be tapped around. Finally come down to Rainey. Rainey in their direction. Tries to throw it down. That was Malik Barnett who got up quickly. Got hung on the rim, but he'll go to the line to shoot too. Coach Smith not happy what he sees on the offensive end from his Bulldogs trying to correct some things quickly here on the sidelines. And you see that's going to be an, you know, an issue for those guys and hopefully for them they'll get better at through the course of the season. Catching them, their game versus Norcross, they had the same struggles. It's just hard to find where the points will come from. Cam Calhoun can only do so much. Uh, but if they can get Stuckey, the opportunities they've gotten them early on in this game, that, that bodes well for them. Joseph there with the rebound. Calhoun sets up, goes to his left, finds John Joseph down below. Joseph is going to throw the ball away on his first touch of the ball game. They go back to Lees. We're going to see another substitution here for Lees. They will have Taryn Hayes check in. And he will come in for Evan Wiley. Rainey will bring the ball to the court. Quint North Quinnette back out in that 1-3-1. They run that defense extremely well. Finding the middle over to Burnett. Burnett cashes in from eight feet. Burnett's fourth point here of the first half. Lee back out in that full court. They finally get it up quickly over to Hancock over the top. Over to Leafson. Leafson picks up his dribble. Is able to get it down to Joseph. Out top to Calhoun for three. Off the back of the rim, but going to get a foul. This one's going to go down below. This one's actually going to go against Mikey Joseph of North, Gwin North Gwinnett. 14-8 here as we end the final minute of the first quarter. And we'll have another substitution in for Lee. Malik Langham will check in. Malik Burnett will bring the ball to court for Lee. Lee out of Huntsville, Alabama. Up top to Brandon Powell, who just checked in as well. Burnett goes baseline. He's going to lose the ball on the floor. We're going to get a timeout taken by Lee. Not really sure how they were able to get the timeout call when they didn't have possession. But nonetheless, they do. They are granted the 30-second timeout by officials here with 23.2 remaining here in the first quarter. Lee enjoying a 14-8 first quarter lead. Both teams starting out extremely sluggish here, Marcus. They are, but, you know, if you if you look at Lee, they were able to get some momentum early on with Ashton Ray being able to, you know, go up top to a couple of uh, of his wings there in Sism uh, as well as Wiley. But I think with North Gwinnett, you can even see Coach Zach Smith emphasizing it. They're not communicating at all. Guys kind of moving like they have jet lag, even though, you know, Sawani, the trip from Sawani didn't require a flight. So you can even hear Cam Calhoun on that last possession saying, everybody open your mouth. We're not, we're not talking out here. So that's got to change ASAP. Got yeah, an official at the table right now. I'm not really sure what he's talking to them about. Looks like they got that straightened out, and we'll get back to action. Kobe Brown inbound the ball for lead. Should have been called for a travel there as he moved along the baseline. Gets it into Rainey. Rainey over to Hayes. Hayes over to Brown. Back up top to Hayes. Over to Rainey. Rainey in the corner to Brown. Brown threw it away. Back the other way is Hancock quickly. Hancock misses the point blank layup. Gets his own rebound, though. Goes back in, can't get it to fall. He's going to get caught for the travel, but that'll be the end of the first quarter. As North Gwinnett finds themselves down six, 14 to eight. 
When we come back, we'll bring you live second half action here on TheSUTV.com. Welcome back to Second Quarter Action Live here at Wheeler High School, the 2014 Nike Explosion event, sponsored by Crossover, and presented here live on thesuvtv.com. Able to check both the live feed, uh, as well as go back and watch it uh, on demand. We appreciate uh, all of your attention that you're giving us here this afternoon as we see a three by Kendrick Ashby. Ball will come down to a stack house. He'll trot it up the floor. I tell you what, I wish we had SUV TV mic'd up for that last North Gwinnett timeout uh, to be able to hear exactly what Coach Zach Smith told his squad, or at least have our viewers here, not happy with the amount of energy or communication out there on the court. It, you know, and it's funny listening to Coach Smith during that timeout. I worked for his dad at Kennesaw State. His dad was extremely quiet. His dad was uh, probably one of the more successful girls coaches in Cherokee County history. Uh, he was telling me back, he was coaching high school basketball there when girls basketball in the state of Georgia, you were only allowed to have two on each end of the floor and then one could float back and forth. Wow. I, I never even knew basketball was played that way. Uh, not to say that he's old or anything, but I guess that's just how they did it here for a while. But uh, to see the, the stark difference between two, Coach Smith never said anything. Uh, Coach Smith here obviously says a, a lot uh, like he needs to. And now Nonetheless, back to action here, seven minutes remaining here in the first half. 16-8, Lee up over North Gwinnett. We're going to see Stuckey check back in the ball game here. He'll come in for K.J. Hancock. Gave them a nice five minutes off the bench. Yeah, Hancock does a great job with the energy that he brings. Another one of those North Gwinnett football players uh, now here playing the basketball season. But can enforce out there, but unfortunately for them on the offensive end, sometimes they need a Stuckey out there to be able to, to knock it down from outside. Stackhouse, Stackhouse over to James. And the move is Stuckey. Stuckey over to Calhoun. Calhoun's going to lose it out of bounds. They say it stays North Gwinnett basketball. Speaking of Gwinnett County football, how about Archer? Archer, the newest member of the, the Gwinnett County High School, is, and they, are, they started out 0-3 this year in football, and they've won their uh, uh, they've won their first uh, – they're in the finals next weekend. They've won each game by an average of like 40 points, something just ridiculous. Yeah, very impressive oh, hey, program. Hey, hey. You see the big fella working inside there for North Gwinnett. But, uh, yeah, in terms of Archer, saw them play last year. Uh, we broadcasted Shiloh football, and they came in. And to be honest, I was surprised they didn't win state last year when I looked at the size and, and what they had. So, obviously playing dividends this go-round. Stojic able to knock down the two. And it was not able to complete the three-point play. 16-10, Lee up over North Gwinnett. Lee in their, their home whites, North Gwinnett in their road reds. Nice block there by Stojic. Lee able to keep it up, gets over to Ashton Ray. Ray penetrates up off the glass, can't get it to finish ball up in the air. Calhoun will come down with it. He'll get it out quickly. Nice job there by Evan Wiley to knock the pass down. Ah, uh, he's not able to connect with Burnett. It'll go out of bounds. Back to North Gwinnett. Now I give North Gwinnett some credit. They haven't really gotten, let alone not all cylinders rolling. I, I think it's been tough to get one cylinder rolling so far, but it's still just a six-point game. 
Adam James there with his first bucket of the game, 16-12. Lead maintaining a four point lead here over North Gwinnett. 5.35 remaining here in the first half. Diamante Douglas gets it up top to Ray. Turnover there by Kendrick Ashby who put the ball on the floor, put his head down and barreled right over James who does a nice job of picking up that charge. We'll see Malik Burnett checking the ball game now as it looks like Ashby's gonna have a seat after picking up that foul. Adam James gets his instruction from Coach Smith. He'll be picked up by Ashton Ray. He'll get over to Stuckey. Stuckey down to Stoyic. I'm sorry, to Toy Toyic. We're gonna get a jump ball. And it will stay. State Bulldog basketball. Again, we appreciate you guys tuning in here to thesuvtv.com uh, for this 2014 Nike Explosion event here at Wheeler High School. We've got four fantastic games coming up for you tonight. First one here, obviously, North Gwinnett taking on lead. Next, you'll have Pebblebrook taking on Laney, followed by the six-time, uh, current six-time uh, uh, champion, Miller Grove, taking on St. Francis, the number 30th team in the country, according to USA Today. And then finally, the nightcap, number one, uh, the number one recruit in the country, Jalen Brown in Wheeler, taking on Walton High School uh, for the nightcap here at the 2014 Nike Explosion. Calhoun not able to knock down either of those free throws. Back the other direction is Ray. Ray with the skip pass over to Burnett. Burnett up top to Ray. Over to Malik Burnett. Cross court to Douglas. Douglas though gonna get called for the travel. Easy call there for the official. 16-14, North Gwinnett up over Lee. This was a uh, what 14-8 game after the first quarter. Gwinnett done a nice job of, of controlling the ball and the tempo that they want is Stackhouse throws up a 10 foot floater off his back foot, can't get it to fall. Back the other way is Burnett. In the corner is Malik Burnett up top to Douglas, over to Ray. Ray throws it over to Burnett, nice job there by Stackhouse to knock that ball away, Calhoun the other direction. Right hand, left side, can't get it to fall as he has nothing but the side of the backboard. Back the other way is Tracy Burnett. He's going to go to the rim. He's going to get fouled. They're going to call it on the floor. So it will stay Lee basketball. Oh, Burnett trying to get a little bit of momentum going. Inbounds to Burnett. Can't get it to fall, but he's going to get fouled. It's going to go against Adam James. Oh, I'm sorry. They're going to call that an offensive foul. It's going to go against Evan Wiley. It'll be two fouls on Evan Wiley here in the first half. Lee back out in that full court press. North Gwinnett hasn't had any issues with it. We're going to get a timeout. Apparently one of the officials wasn't aware that it was an offensive foul. Both coaches were a little confused there. Toyjit got away with a walk right in front of the official because he was too busy talking to Coach Smith. Calhoun the other direction, right hand off the front of the rim. Toyjit with the rebound. Can't get that one to fall. Wiley with the rebound for Lee, and he'll get it out quickly. Lee's definitely slowed their game down as you see Burnett 4-3 off too hard. Stuckey with the rebound, but he just throws it up in the air. Rebound will go. Back to Lee is Malik Burnett able to come down with the basketball. He'll get it over to Ashton Ray, who's going to reset the offense. Back over to Burnett. Burnett up top to Ray. Puts the ball on the floor to his right. Finds Tracy Burnett down at the bucket for an easy two. Six points down the first half for Tracy Burnett. Douglas is going to pick up his foul, his second foul. I think this game has been back and forth for the majority of this first half. But one thing that has tipped the scales are, is, has been that play that we just saw. Uh, Ray doing a good job of kind of getting into the heart of the defense and kicking it to a Burnett or a Sism or a Wiley for the finish. Stackhouse at the line for his first free throw attempt. This one rims around, can't get it to fall. 
Ashton Ray will walk the ball up the court. No points here in the, in the first half for Ray, but he does a great job. Like we were talking about uh, pre-production, he does a great job of facilitating this team and, and getting their scores into the right position. Ashton up top to Burnett. That's Tracy Burnett, number 32. Over to Malik Burnett, number 23. Back over to Ray. Ray taking his time. Final three minutes here of the first half. Over to Rainey. Rainey back up top to Burnett. Over to Malik. Back up top to Rainey. Lee being very, very, I'm not going to say stealth, but they're being very quiet here. It's nice shot there by Asher Ray to penetrate, gets the ball up in the air. Burnett will have the shot blocked. He'll able, he's able to track down the rebound. Puts the ball on the floor. We're going to get a travel. Nope, they're going to call it offensive foul. On Tracy Burnett. That's his second foul of the first half. 2.35 remaining here in the first half. 18-14 Lee. He's only scored four points here in the second half, in the second quarter. Over to Stuckey. Stuckey up top to Hancock, who finds himself back in the ball game. Over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse over to Stuckey. Over to Calhoun. Calhoun in the middle. Kicks it out to Hancock. 4-3. Able to knock that one down. Hancock's first bucket of the game is a three. And he draws his team within one, 18-17. Hancock says, man, I'm not just out here for defense and to use the muscle in that aspect. I can knock down the shot as well. Burnett with the 19-foot jumper. Nice job there by Burnett. He leads all scores here in the game with eight. 2017 now, Lee up over North Burnett. Full court pressure once more, easily broken again by North Burnett. Stackhouse. Skip pass over to Stuckey. Stuckey for three. Knocks that down, and it's a tie ball game. That's Jack Stuckey's third three-point ball game here of the first half. And that's how you know right there, looking at uh, North Gwinnett's uh, basket, that's how you know you're a pure shooter when you keep wrapping the, the, the net around the basket. Throws it up, can't get the foul. Count it in one. Nice job there by Ashton Ray to get it over to Tracy Burnett. He will go to the line to complete the three-point play. Didn't quite get the showtime that they were hoping for, but they got the layup and the foul. Conversation between Coach Smith and the official seems to be an interesting one. Is Burnett able to knock down and complete that three-point play? We're going to have Brandon Powell check in uh, for Evan Wiley. Hope, they're hoping that he doesn't pick up a third foul in the final 90 seconds. That would not be an ideal situation there. Cam Calhoun lets it roll the half court before he picks it up. He's going to be picked up defensively by Malik Burnett. Nice feed down there to Toyjit. Stackhouse able to finish on the nice pass there by Toyjit. Final minute, five seconds here of the first half. Astrand with the ball, skip pass over to Burnett. Burnett back up top to Powell. Powell over to Rainey. Malik Burnett. Will be picked up defensively there by Leafson. Over to Ray. Back up top is Burnett. Final 40 seconds here in the first half. Ray in the corner over to Burnett. Burnett goes baseline up off the backboard and in. Tracy Burnett putting on quite a show here in the first half. 24-22. Lee up over North Gwinnett. Calhoun will be picked up by Malik Burnett. Puts the ball on the floor to his right. He'll back it out. He'll get it over to Hancock. Hancock, final 20 seconds. D3, this one too hard by Leafs. And rebound will come down to Stackhouse. Stackhouse gets it, put it back up and in. Start, strong move there by Stackhouse. To get the layup. His sixth point of the ball game. Final touch here of the first half. 25-24, Lee. And Asher Ray with his first mistake. Gets it up quickly over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse lays it up and in at the buzzer. North Lynette will go in. Up one at 26-25. On that last second shot, layup by Jay Stackhouse. 
What a turnaround here in the second quarter for North Gwinnett. They were down 14 to eight after one. They find themselves up 26-25 at the end of the first half. Well, we're gonna get a replay here sponsored by Nike on the Jay Stackhouse layup at the buzzer to put North Gwinnett up 26-25 here at halftime of game number one of the 2014 Nike Explosion uh, sponsored by Crossover. Your first half thoughts, Marcus. Thought uh, Lee started off better than North Gwinnett. North Gwinnett weathered the storm. They didn't play well at all the first portion of that first half. But at the end of the day, they go in leading. The glass is more than half full. It's overflowing when you look at how they play. We'll bring you a second half live action here on TheSUVTV.com. Crossover Intelligence for basketball can save you hours of time. We break down and stat your game film for you and act as your video coordinator by giving you searchable clips, advanced statistics, shot charts, and a lot of other great info that you can access from any PC or through our iPad application. Just upload your video through the Crossover website and 24 hours later your film will be completely indexed and tagged. Each play will become its own video clip, allowing you to search the footage for anything you'd like. Here we'll take a look at all three pointers that were made in the fourth quarter. All of your offensive and defensive sets can also be tagged, so you can view the appropriate clips and determine which plays are achieving the best results. You can add any clip to a playlist or highlight reel and share everything with your players or assistant coaches. Crossover will also provide you with all of the numbers from each game, including complete player stats for both teams and advanced metrics like these. We even take the shooting numbers a step further with an interactive shot chart that lets you visualize the data. Filter by player, quarter, makes or misses and click on any shot to watch the corresponding video. Crossover Intelligence will keep you from spending hours in the film room and get you back to actually coaching. Together, we can turn smarter video into more wins for your team. That's the crossover effect. Crossover Intelligence for basketball can save you hours of time. We break down and stat your game film for you and act as your video coordinator by giving you searchable clips, advanced statistics, shot charts, and a lot of other great info that you can access from any PC or through our iPad application. Just upload your video through the Crossover website and 24 hours later your film will be completely indexed and tagged. Each play will become its own video clip, allowing you to search the footage for anything you'd like. Here we'll take a look at all three pointers that were made in the fourth quarter. All of your offensive and defensive sets can also be tagged, so you can view the appropriate clips and determine which plays are achieving the best results. You can add any clip to a playlist or highlight reel and share everything with your players or assistant coaches. Crossover will also provide you with all of the numbers from each game, including complete player stats for both teams and advanced metrics like these. We even take the shooting numbers a step further with an interactive shot chart that lets you visualize the data. Filter by player, quarter, makes or misses and click on any shot to watch the corresponding video. Crossover Intelligence will keep you from spending hours in the film room and get you back to actually coaching. Together, we can turn smarter video into more wins for your team. That's the crossover effect. Crossover Intelligence for basketball can save you hours of time. We break down and stat your game film for you and act as your video coordinator by giving you searchable clips, advanced statistics, shot charts, and a lot of other great info that you can access from any PC or through our iPad application. Just upload your video through the Crossover website and 24 hours later your film will be completely indexed and tagged. Each play will become its own video clip, allowing you to search the footage for anything you'd like. Here we'll take a look at all three pointers that were made in the fourth quarter. All of your offensive and defensive sets can also be tagged, 
so you can view the appropriate clips and determine which plays are achieving the best results. You can add any clip to a playlist or highlight reel and share everything with your players or assistant coaches. Crossover will also provide you with all of the numbers from each game, including complete player stats for both teams and advanced metrics like these. We even take the shooting numbers a step further with an interactive shot chart that lets you visualize the data. Filter by player, quarter, makes or misses and click on any shot to watch the corresponding video. Crossover Intelligence will keep you from spending hours in the film room and get you back to actually coaching. Together, we can turn smarter video into more wins for your team. That's the crossover effect.
Welcome back to Wheeler High School of the 2014 Nike Explosion event sponsored here by Crossover, seen live on the SUVTV.com. I am Jeff Benedict. He is Marcus Burnett. We're bringing you live action here all day long. Pretty good first uh, first half of the first game. A lot, uh, a lot more competitive than I was expecting it to be as North Gwinnett enjoys a one-point lead, 26-25, thanks to a Jay Stackhouse layup at the buzzer. Uh, Marcus... I really, truthfully, I thought North Gwinnett was going to get run out of the gym. Truthfully, I did. Uh, Lee is, is very much known as an up-and-down type floor, and that's not, the, that's not the game that North Gwinnett likes to play. They've done a great job of uh, willing their type of game on Lee, yeah. and, and that's uh, you know why they enjoy a one-point lead here at halftime. Yeah, I think a big part of it is you know, you got to look at the pieces for North Gwinnett. They might not jump off the page uh, as much, but... They're heady guys, they're guys that play hard, which is why Coach Smith was so upset as he was there to start the first half. He knows his guys play hard. Cameron Calhoun, Jay Stackhouse, Stuckey knocking down the shot, Hancock off the bench. That's what allowed them to actually have a one-point lead here. As you see, a turnover on the other end by Calhoun. Tried to feed the big man, uh, Toyjit. Miscommunication there, goes out of bounds back the other direction. Is Lee, ball up in the air off of the three-ball miss from Sissom. Sissom, uh, very quiet. We expected him to kind of fill up the stat page. He's got two points in the first half. Uh, however, Tracy Burnett has all but 10 points. Uh, had all but 10 points for Lee in the first half. He's got 15. And we're going to get a jump ball. And it, nope, sorry, they're going to call a foul. This one's going to go against Dehan Toyjik, the big man for North Gwinnett. Rainey will bring the ball to the court for Lee. Pick it over to Sissom. Sissom's going to lose the ball out of bounds. It will stay Lee basketball. Doing a whole lot of dribbling, not really going anywhere with it. That's never a uh, recipe for success in basketball. He'll get it into Rainey. Rainey over to Burnett. The shorter of the two, Malik Burnett. Over to Wiley in the middle. Wiley off the back of the rim. A too hard rebound. Come down to Toyjik. Nice shot there to secure the ball. He'll get it over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse try to cross, try to get it over to Stuckey. And the ball knocked away. Toyjik goes able to get with it. Rebound up in the air. Toyjik comes down with it. Get over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse is going to clear it out, reset his offense. We're going to get a foul, though. This one's going to go against Rainey. Should be his first. Toyjik, the big fellow for North Gwinnett, he gets a, a, a small, a little bit more of a feel for the game each game. A brute force out there, but we, we've seen a couple of touch passes from the big fella this game. Turnover there on the inbounds. Rainey able to make up for that foul. Lays it up and in for his first bucket of the game. Calhoun will handle the ball for North Winnet. Lee out in an extended 2-3. Over to Stuckey. Stuckey's going to pick up his dribble. He'll get over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse will turn and burn. Throws it up, he's gonna get fouled. They're gonna call a hand check out on Malik Burnett. I'm actually shocked at the way that Stackhouse threw that elbow when he turned that corner, that he didn't get the offensive foul call there. Yeah, ne neither one of these teams are, are giving up anything lightly on the inside. And I, I think the way you saw Stack go to the rack there on that play is really reflective of that. You, you can't come in timid at all, either side. Love to see the toughness. As he gets over to James in the corner, gets it out top to Calhoun. Calhoun set her step, goes up, is going to get blocked by Malik Burnett. It'll come down to Rainey off his foot, ball on the floor. Rainey able finally to control it. Calhoun's going to elbow him, and they're going to kind of give each other down that desk there. And that's, the, that's Cameron Calhoun's game, not necessarily the verbal side of it, because he's not a guy that does a whole lot of talking, but he is a guy that doesn't mind being physical. Uh, if he gets under the opponent's skin, so what? Uh, you know, that, that's just the way he plays, and I think that that's a big part of this Bulldog defense. Down the system, system pump fake. He's going to lose his footing. He'll get called for a travel. Easy call there. System just not able to get going here for the through the first half of the, uh, of the third quarter. You know, it's tough. You know, prime example why, you know, I've never been a coach, a head coach, but you can understand why it's, it, it's a marathon and not a sprint. You know, we saw Lee at North Gwinnett turning the ball over a lot at the Jared Cook Classic. Since then, they've minimized that. They're getting other pieces involved, and now they got to find a way to kind of get system going, you know. So never a dull moment, man. 
Stackhouse will, he gets it out to Calhoun to reset as he gets his call from Coach Smith. Over to Stackhouse, Stuckey, Stuckey looking down low to Toyjik. Toyjik had it, he just let it go, didn't bother to go make a play on the basketball. And that's something you'd like to see the big man correct, go up, get the basketball, it's not always gonna fall right where you want it to. Skip pass in the corner for three, not down there by Burnett. And Coach Smith is gonna call a timeout as his team is down four, 30 to 26. Looks like it's gonna be a 30 second timeout. Get a replay here, sponsored by Nike. I'm sorry, I want to thank Crossover. Our sponsor for today, Nike as well. Here at the 2014 Nike Explosion, seen live here on theSUVTV.com. Uh, also available for on demand uh, as well. Welcome back to the third quarter here at uh, Wheeler High School in the, uh, the Douglas Lipscomb Gymnasium. Full court here by Lee. Nice job by Toyjik to get the ball up over to Jay Stackhouse. Double teamed in the corner, able to get rid of it before the trap was too heavy. In the corner is James, back up top to Calhoun. Calhoun's going to go right down the middle, go right at him, left hand, left side. Nice job there by Calhoun. Calhoun's front of the ball game. Back the other way is Malik Burnett, and he's feeling it. That's back-to-back -back threes by Malik Burnett now as he puts his team up five, 32-28. Stuckey the other direction, misses the, the right-handed layup off the front of the rim. Rebound will be grabbed by Evan Wiley. He'll get over to Sissom. Sissom down low. He's going to lose it out of bounds. Again, Sissom just having such a tough time getting going. You can see the frustration on his face as this is not how he's used to playing. And you, you've mentioned this is the third time you've seen Lee High School now. So I'm first in the Jericho Classic. I'm not really sure if, if seeing them in that event was really fair to them as they played a, a, a great Pebble Brook team who has yet to win a game by, by less than, I think, 45 on the year. Uh, so really comparing them to a lot of teams probably isn't fair. But I haven't seen them. You've seen the progression as they find themselves up five here against North Gwinnett, 33-28. I think some of it is, you know, Sism. I won't say he was cold early on because really his other teammates were scoring. He did a good job of not taking, you know, hey, let me get in type of shots and disrupting them. But then also you got to look at a lot of times the defense that they're playing inside. They're either throwing a big body in Tosh kick at him or throwing Cameron Calhoun at him. Up top to Wiley. We're going to get grabbed out on the baseline, uh, on, on the perimeter by James. We're going to have substitutions. You'll see KJ Hancock check in, as does Kobe Leibson. Torjic will, will check out, as does Adam James. Asher Ray gets it in quickly. Nice job there by Ashton Ray to find Tracy Burnett for the easy two. I'm, I'm sorry, make that Evan Wiley for the easy two. That's Wiley's eighth point of the game, but he hasn't scored since the second two-minute mark of the first quarter. Stackhouse has the five second count, gets away just in time. It'll be knocked out of bounds by Jerron Sissom. It'll stay North Gwinnett basketball. Jack Stuckey was hot in the first quarter. It hasn't had anything go going since. Hasn't even gotten an open attempt in about uh, 10 game minutes. As he'll inbound the basketball over to Calhoun. Calhoun, nice split the double team. Goes up, tries to throw it down, can't get it to fall. Rebound up in the air will be grabbed by Sissom. Calhoun fearless in there. He, he doesn't mind trying to finish above the rim. Malik Burnett pulls up from 18, from eight feet, can't get it to fall. System with the rebound. Finds it over to Wiley. Wiley with a turnaround on the baseline. Air ball, rebound, grab, put back up. Can't get that one to fall. They're hitting the offensive glass. They can't get anything to fall as the ball is probably going to be tapped out. But Evan Wiley will go to the line to shoot too. Thought we were watching volleyball for a second, man. They had six or seven putbacks, <laughs> no buckets, but Wiley will get a chance to earn it for the free throw line. Yeah, you got to box those long bodies out. 
I mean, they, they were at a point to where I, they couldn't wedge in between them if they wanted to there with the way that was set up. You had Wiley, Sism, and Burnett right there at the rim. Now they're going to call it a non-shooting. How is that a non-shooting foul when they were tipping the ball back up into the basket? Nonetheless, it stays lead basketball over to Ray. Ray up top. Over to Burnett. Burnett for another three. Cash him. He's three for his three here in, in the, this half. That's 11 points now. Nine of them here in the second half. Stackhouse splits the double team. Goes right around everybody. Smartly pulls it out to Stuckey. Stuckey out the front of the rim for three. Rebound will come down to Sissom. Sissom trying to get a little too fancy. Not really going anywhere with the basketball. Gets over to Ray. Ray, deep three. Off the back of the rim, rebound up in the air. will come down to Burnett. Burnett thinks about it, stops, pops. Off the side of the rim, rebound grabbed by Calhoun. Out the other direction, over to Stackhouse. And they're going to count the basket. Stackhouse is 10 point. I'm not really sure if that was actually goaltending or not. I thought he got there fairly quickly. But nonetheless, they do count it. And the lead is down to 8. 38-30. Lee up over North Gwinnett. You're North Gwinnett, you got to try to make a, a run here to at least try to cut this deficit in half. You don't, you don't want it to get the double digits with the way Lee has been rebounding here. Ray over to Malik Burnett. Burnett been hot here in the third quarter. Nice find down low to the other Burnett. Count it. Tracy Burnett with 17 points here in the ball game. And he extends lead back out to 10, 40 to 30. Toyjik with the turnover. Over to System. Euro step. Nice feed over to Ray. Ray can't finish point blank. Wiley tips it up. Rebound down to Burnett. He can't get it to finish. Ball will go out of bounds. It should stay Lee basketball. And it's not. They're going to say it's going to go back to North Burnett. From my vantage point, it looked like it had gone out actually on uh, Cameron Calhoun. But they'll say it'll stay. It'll go back to North Burnett as we're going to take a full timeout. Get the, the timeout taken. The replay down to Burnett as he's able to finish once again at the basket. He makes it look so easy, as you saw there on the replay, sponsored by Nike. Welcome back to Wheeler High School here at the uh, 2014 Nike Explosion here on seen live on the SUV TV. And that stopping and screaming you hear is Coach Smith, the North Gwinnett High School coach. And Marcus, the reason he's so upset is they've given up literally the last three trips on the floor. They've given up, no exaggeration, 12 offensive rebounds because they're not boxing anybody out. Yeah, you can definitely understand Coach's frustration. And, and it's so not like the Bulldogs with the way that they've played up until this point. Lee back in the full court. Calhoun kind of surveying the floor, puts it on the floor. Back over to Toyjik. Toyjik's going to turn the ball over one more time. This one's going to go to Tracy Burnett. Yo steps on the lane. He's going to flip it up. Every time I think they give him a shooting foul, it ends up not being one. This one's going to be on the floor as well. Final minute here of the third quarter. 40 to 30. North Gwinnett up over Lee. I'm sorry, Lee up over North Gwinnett. They get the ball inbounds over to Malik Burnett. Burnett's had nine points here in the third quarter. He's three for four from behind the three-point line. He gets it over to Ashton Ray. Ray picked up by Calhoun. Over in the corner is Burnett for another three. Knocks that down. He's now four for five here in the third quarter from behind the three-point line. And they extend the lead out to 43-30 in the final 40 seconds. Calhoun put the ball on the floor. Stutter steps in the lane, spins. Nice job there. Great defense by Lee. Um, looks like Evan Wiley there for Lee High School as he gets Calhoun to turn the ball over. And when you look at that frustration expressed by Coach Smith, yeah, he didn't like the hustle. He didn't like the offensive rebounds. But it's even more frustrating when you see how tough it is for you to get points on the offensive end. 
So it's tough for you, but yeah, you make it easy where they're getting four or five opportunities each time they try. Burnett picked up by Jay Stackhouse. Gets it over to Rainey. Make that haze. Haze over to Ray. Ray feeds from behind to Burnett. Burnett goes up strong. We're going to say it was a block. Up in the air, it comes down to Hayes. Ashton kicks it out to Burnett. Burnett thought about it. Instead, goes to the bucket at the basket. Count it! At the buzzer, they say count it. So we will. And that'll make it 45 30. Lee at the end of three. So what was more impressive there? The fact that Lee scored 20 points in the third or the fact that they held North Gwinnett to four? From Lady High School. Well, I think, uh, I think more about the points that they've scored because we're really starting to see their offense develop as far as those guys, you know, getting used to playing with each other and the, and the flow coming. As far as North Gwinnett, I've seen these struggles in, in terms of being able to score the ball. I saw them against Norcross the other night, and I think it's, it's what they're going to run into most of the season. You know, Calhoun does all he can. Stackhouse tries to set the tone as well. They've got a couple shooters, but not really that same North Gwinnett offense that we're used to seeing. So it's going to be tough to figure out how to manufacture points throughout the course of a season, which makes it even more important for them to hustle and do what they need to do defensively. I want to thank our sponsors real quick, Crossover at Nike. Here at the uh, 2014 Nike Explosion scene broadcasted live here on DSUVTV.com. We've got uh, three more games coming up at the conclusion of this one. Coming up next will be Pebble Brook uh, with uh, the state's number one point guard, Ty Hudson, taking on Laney out of Augusta. Laney kind of the, uh, the unknown to the Metro Atlanta area, but they are a phenomenal basketball team, as you guys will see here shortly. Followed by St. Francis taking on... Uh, uh, Miller Grove, the top two juniors in the state between uh, uh, Kobe Simmons and, uh, and Altariq Gilbert. And, and Marcus, I'll never forget our first uh, interaction, uh, our first knowledge of, of Altariq three years ago. But we'll talk about that in the broadcast coming up as we get back to live second out action here between North Gwinnett and Lee. Stackhouse takes a three. Too long, but we're going to get a foul on the floor. This one's going to go against Evan Wiley. Oh, sorry. They changed it. This one's going to go against uh, Dehan Tojic on the offensive side. And it looks like it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here for Evan Wiley. It's just tough. We, you know, when you look at North Carolina, even if they were to tighten up on the defensive end, which is easier said than done, you know, it, it's one thing – Coach Smith was ticked off about the hustle. You know, he, he knew that it's hard to be able to keep all of those long bodies off the rim. But you can't afford that if you're North Gwinnett. You don't have the type of offense that can rattle off a quick sequence of points. Widely not able to convert the front of a one and one so it goes back to North Gwinnett. Jay Stackhouse with the ball up top. Be guarded by Malik Burnett. Gets over to Leafson. Leafson thought about it, but he fumbled the ball back in the middle to Calhoun. Calhoun wrapped around to Stackhouse. He's going to get blocked. K.J. Hancock will come up with it. He's going to throw the ball away. Quickly at the other end is Ashton Ray for Lee. He goes up. Ball will be blocked. However, it lands right in the hands of Taryn Hayes. Hayes with his first buckets. It wouldn't be a North Gwinnett game if Cam Calhoun didn't chase down. You know, didn't knock that one out of bounds like he normally does, but still got a partial deflection. Lee still able to score it. Skip over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse throws it up over Wiley. Air ball. This one will come down the floor to Hayes. Hayes gets it up to Ray. Malik Burnett wanted that ball, but he didn't get it. Said Ray will turn. Skip pass over to Wiley. Wiley up top to Burnett, back over to Ray. Ray tried to force feed it. Toyjik knocks it away. Back over to KJ's Hancock. Over to Toyjik. Toyjik bounce pass. It'll be kicked by Taryn Hayes. It'll stay North Burnett basketball. As we're going to see Mikey Joseph and Jack Stuckey check in for North Gwinnett. Stackhouse will inbound the basketball for North Gwinnett. Gets over to Stuckey. Stuckey, 4-3, air ball on that one. Sharp in the first quarter, hasn't had many attempts since. As this team is down 17, 47, 30. Wiley with the ball up top. Yeah, they started realizing, hey, this Stuky guy can shoot. Started closing out on him. 
Tracy Burnett with it. Up top to Wiley. Back over to Malik Burnett. Calls for Rainey to come get it. Rainey, the backup point guard, does just that. Back over to Wiley. Wiley over to Burnett. Back up top to Wiley. Clearly just trying to run clock, trying to get a much better shot. We're going to get a foul on the floor by Stackhouse. Crowd starting to pick up just a little bit here in the gym. I expect um, I, I expect a, a packed house here tonight uh, come 7 o'clock. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll build up. I think I think this Pebble Brook Laney game is, is going to have some more people coming in with everybody that wants to see Pebble Brook. I think Laney traveled, traveled pretty well also. But, yeah, like you said, Miller Grove, St. Francis, from then on, might be standing room only, Chief. Wiley not able to knock down the front end of the one and one Back over to Calhoun. Calhoun down low to Hancock. Hancock's going to get blocked by Burnett. We're going to get a foul. This one's going to go against Hancock. And Lee will get another chance to knock down free throws. They haven't hit a single free throw yet here in the ballgame. I'm sorry. Tracy Burnett knocked down the first attempt, and they've missed uh, seven straight since. Evan Wiley with eight points here for Lee High School today. Front end is up and around. Can't get it to fall. Calhoun with another rebound. He goes over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse quickly up the floor. Doesn't waste any time. Goes right at him. Kicks it out to Hancock. 4-3. Off the front of the rim. Rebound grabbed by Sissom. Sissom, two points on the day, but he's uh, that length has helped him battle for, with offensive rebounds. He's picked up by Stackhouse. Turnover by Lee. This one's going to come down to Mikey Joseph as it was tipped to him by Calhoun. He'll give it back to Calhoun. Picked up by Burnett. To his left, spins back to his right, up in the lane, throws it up off the backboard. Can't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Are you talking about having to work hard uh, for every bucket. Cam Calhoun's still fighting, but. Coming up next, we've got uh, Pebble Brook led by All-State point guard and Clemson signee Ty Hudson as they will take on Laney out of Augusta. It's a tough game here for North Gwinnett. Not, not mathematically impossible for them to come back. So they're, you know, they're still fighting. But tough when you, you're in that double-digit hole. Calhoun able to knock down one of two. Five points on the afternoon for Calhoun. Over to Douglas. Douglas over to Sissom. Sissom will be picked up by Stackhouse. Gets rid of it. Over to Burnett. Malik Burnett down low. Over to Wiley. Wiley goes baseline. Throws it up off the backboard. King gets the fall. Rebound tipped up in the air. It's knocked out of bounds. And we go back to North Gwinnett. 439 remaining here in the ball game. 47-31, Lee up over North Gwinnett. This was a 26-25 ball game at half with North Gwinnett leading by one. They haven't had any success here in the second half as this lead defense, their length has just completely taken over this ball game on both ends of the court. You know, I talked early on in the season. By the time playoff times hit in Alabama, nobody is going to want to play this lead team. And I think we've been able to see it just in their progression from, you know, when the season first started just up to this point. That's a lot of length to have to deal with on both ends. Speaking of Alabama, who you got today in the SEC title game? Alabama, Missouri. Uh, my head says Alabama. I, you know, I, I really don't bet against Saban in, in this type of instance. But uh, my heart's rooting for Mizzou. You know, going to college there in the show me state, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Mizzou pull that one off. Just to, to, to uh, enact total chaos into the uh, college football playoff system. Nonetheless, back here to, to uh, live action, Malik Burnett turns spins. Has, <laughs> he kind of had Stackhouse there on the ropes. Over to Douglas. Douglas up top to Sissom. Sissom over to Burnett. Malik Burnett, that is. Back up top to Douglas. Over in the corner is Ashby. Ashby's going to throw this ball away. 
that length though of Lee able to get it back. Tracy Burnett can't get it to fall. They've had a, I'll say this, North Carolina has done a great job defensively at the rim. I count the basket for Calhoun. He'll go to the line to complete the three point play. Is they've given up a ton of offensive rebounds, but they haven't given up a whole lot of layups at the, at, at the basket. Yeah. And that's the thing, they, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a feisty bunch. And I think with North Gwinnett, the key thing is you just got to realize if, you, if, if you're thinking it's going to be the same North Gwinnett season that they've had for the past three, four years, that's where the culture shock is going to come. They're going to take some lumps during the course of this season that they're normally not used to taking. But I still think they're going to be a tough team to face around region tourney time just because of how hard they play. And let's make no mistake, they're a better offensive team than what they showed today. You know, not as good as with Caver and Howard and, and Carter and last year, but they're better than what they've shown today. I'm not sure what the pandemonium going on is. I just heard a bunch of people saying things. So they did count the basket. Like one official counted the basket, the other two didn't. So they're. I thought I was the only one in need of a Snickers right about now. Right? I <laughs> I the officials try, try to get it right. The official trying to say there was a lane violation, but clearly he was saying that to save faces. He didn't know what was going on. There was clearly no lane light violation. And now the ego is going to have him come approach the table. Yeah, man, this is a great slate. They've got lined up. This, this Lee North Gwinnett matchup has, has been better than I, I thought it might be initially just because, again, we're, we're starting to continue to see the maturation of Lee. I think also for North Gwinnett, this is going to be a game that they can really, uh, you know, use to fuel them in, in practice going into the next week. Asher Ray picked up by the stack house. He goes right around him. Over to Sissom. Sissom picked up by Stuckey. Back up top to Burnett. Bodies all over the floor. You can hear the North Gwinnett coaches, you know, applauding that. At, at the end of the day, man, whether you, whether it's a W or a nail, that energy level has to be a constant. Now they're seeing a, a squad that resembles the Bulldogs that they brought over here. Yeah, the, the last, the, unfortunately, it's only been about the last uh, minute, minute and a half. But they've shown that tenacity they showed in the first half and how they built that one-point lead at halftime. Uh, they kind of lost it there for 80%, for 90% of the second half. And, uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, you always want to, uh, to fight. And as a coach, that's all you can ask is that your guys fight, you know, nonstop for 32 minutes of, of a high school basketball game. That's exactly what Cam Calhoun plans on doing. Asher Ray picked up by Stackhouse. Got away with the travel there. Get it over to Malik Burnett. Throws it up from 12 feet off the front of the rim. Gets his own rebound. He'll reset the office out top to Asher Ray. Final just under three minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Turn spins as Tracy Burnett. Adding to his point total of the day. 19 points for Tracy Burnett to lead all scores. Burnett duo has played very well for Lee today. You know, they've had some good games, but this is definitely their best performance of the season so far. You know, I'm trying to think, has, has Lee had a home game yet? They were at the Jericho Classic at North Gwinnett. They were in Cor Corinth, Mississippi for the Lighthouse Classic. They're here for Nike Explosion. They've been sleeping in hotels. <laughs> Most definitely. Stackhouse's attempt there blocked by Sissom. Stuckey misses that three. Uh, rebound will come down to Burnett. He'll get it over to Tracy Burnett, who goes up, misses the layup. Rebound will come down to Toyjik. Toyjik gets it up over to Calhoun. Calhoun, you know, step in the lane, throws it up. Count it! And there's no fight. I mean, there's, there's no die in, in these Bulldogs. 
Not at all. Specifically Calhoun, and, and that's what they that's what they can bring each game, game in, game out this season. That's what's going to make them tough to play around that February time frame. That kind of toughness. Shots won't always fall, but they got to be able to have that that tough side of things, similar to how they played Norcross the other night, even though they came up short in that one. Calhoun able to complete the three-point play there. Draws the team within 10, 51-41. They're never eliminated, especially with some of the shooters they've got on the floor. Stranger things have happened. Douglas guarded up top by Stuckey. Goes right around him. Pulls it back out over to Burnett. Over to Wiley. Wiley in corner to Burnett. Burnett's going to pull it back out. Skip pass over to Douglas. Clearly wasting time here as we're under minute 45. Over to Ray. Ray down low to Wiley. Wiley's going to go up. He's going to get fouled. And he will go. I'm going to assume he'll go to the line to shoot two, but. <laughs> Box of chocolates, huh? Right. And Wiley will, in fact, go to the line to shoot two. Wiley's a player, man. I've been able to, I've been able to check out Wiley's sock game. You know, over the tournaments where we've been able to stream. And it's one of those things where I'm, I'm not really going around looking at players' socks, but he has those that that kind of catch your attention. He'll give you a tie-dye pair one day. Here we see him sporting the uh, the neon green with some sort of symbol on him. Never know what you might find on Wiley. I just got to play him back. I'm, I'm old, man. I got to play him black socks on. I'm with you. I'm with you. I think there's an, you know, an age cutoff in terms of certain sock designs and colors. Unless it's dress socks. Now, I will say, my 10-year-old, his socks have to match his shirt. So whatever color shirt he's wearing, that's the color socks he has to have that day. Spiffy cat. Now he's 10. <laughs> Ashton Ray with the ball up top. Nice cross court over to Burnett. Burnett, count it! That fella's having it. It's going to be a, a cool ride down 20 West uh, for this young man. 21 points on the afternoon for Tracy Burnett. Almost out of room here for him. Not able to capitalize on the three point play. Toy Jake with the rebound. He'll get over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse will throw it out to Calhoun. Back to Stackhouse. He'll fight, go straight up, ball up in the air, rebound, tipped around. Stuckey will come down with it. Skip pass over to James. James on the floor to Calhoun. Calhoun's going to get it out to Stuckey. Stuckey pump fakes, fakes too much. Stackhouse goes baseline. Sorry, I make that toy jig goes baseline. Couldn't see the official right in my way. And it is not easy to score out there right now. I think when you look at the slow start for North Gwinnett, how tough it's been throughout this game, you know, you don't want any moral victories, but the fact that you're within 12 with the way Lee has played, right. I mean, I think it, it says a lot. And I think if those guys start off the game with the right energy, totally different score. Yeah, they, they lost their way in the third quarter. They lost their way in the third quarter and spent the majority of the first half, it seemed like, finding their way. It seemed like they had left the legs and the energy uh, back in Gwinnett for a second there. All except for our buddy Toshik, who's uh, set to check into the game. Next day, ball, I think they're going to they're gonna go ahead and send him back. He, he came off the bus on 10. I think that you know some of that rainy, maybe some of that rainy setting outside here uh, in the Atlanta area, made North Gwinnett a little, uh, a little weary coming in. Up the lane. It, it's hard getting out of bed on rainy days. 
and, and, and got to check the schedule. I'm not sure if they played last night, but they had a, a real physical matchup against Norcross early in the week. And, you know, just kind of looked like the legs were just a little tired. Stackhouse will inbound the ball for North Gwinnett. Having a tough time getting it in. Finally just throws it up. Rebound up in the air. We'll come down to Malik Burnett. He's going to pull the ball out. Final 35 seconds. We're going to get a foul out top by Stuckey. Let's take a look at the replay and just kind of see how easy it's been. As you see that nice athletic finish there by Burnett. He's been doing it all game. Big reason why Lee is going to go home with the victory. Stuckey will foul out nine points. Quiet the last three quarters as those nine points came early in the first. He'll foul out nine points, five fouls. Leafson will check in. He's going to go set up down in the corner. I don't think anybody realizes he's actually on the court. Stuckey plays hard, man. He's, he's not just a shooter. You know, he's... Oh, yeah. I wouldn't label him a defensive specialist per se, but I was, you know... This game and really at Norcross game, I saw him doing the small things, boxing out, diving for 50-50 balls. He's more than just a shooter. Stockhouse with the rebound. He'll go. He'll travel in the lane, no call, get out to Calhoun. Calhoun goes up, right hand, right side, can't finish. Rebound will come down to Stackhouse. He'll throw it up off the glass, can't get it to fall. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Stackhouse, another one of those. Uh, Constance for North Burnett. Cam Calhoun's essential, but so is Stackhouse's presence out there. You see him continuing to fight it. Uh, he's done his best to try to weave some holes there in the lane, but it's, it's tough when you when you get past the 6'6", six, six and you got a 6'7", and a 6'8", in there waiting on you. This one falls for Stackhouse. Fourteen points on the afternoon for Stackhouse. And this one off the front of the room make that fifteen. Malik Burnett with it now for Lee. He's gonna get fouled by Leafson. I just couldn't imagine being the North Gwinnett coaching staff and sitting, and, you know, playing different excerpts of the game through, and you know, you, you look to where they're almost, you know, within single digits here, and just thinking about how the game went up to, I'd probably say the last, you know, five or six minutes, and just, you know, the missed opportunities, right. the, you know, the slow start. It's one of those things that it's, it's got to tick you off a little bit, but then it's also kind of got to be a silver lining. Because in a lot of instances, they beat themselves today, whether it's the offensive rebounds or, you know, the energy level early on. Reporting into the general, Malik, Burnett Malik Burnett is going to check out of the ball game quite the afternoon for Malik because he got hot there in the third quarter. He'll end up the day with, uh, I believe it's 20 points, 18 points. Pretty good day in the afternoon uh, for Malik Burnett. Tracy Burnett has got uh, 23 for Lee. So uh, quite a day there for the duo. Uh, Evan Wiley finishes the ball game with nine. DeAndre Rainey will finish with two. And my last name's Burnett too, man. Just go ahead and mark me down for 20 in the book. All right, man, I got you. <laughs> I'm going to cross out one of these guys. You know, I'll add you right here to the bottom roster. Marcus Burnett. You know what? You're older than they are, so I'll put you down for 32 and, and, and lead all scores. Yeah, and we'll do M. Burnett. You know, I don't know whether it's Malik or whether it's Marcus, There you man. go. <laughs> Stackhouse off the side of the rim, rebound up in the air, throws it up. He knocked out of bounds. And they're going to call the ball game. 57-45 will be your final. Lee out of Huntsville will defeat the North Gwinnett Bulldogs 57-45. That'll wrap up game number one. We've still got three more on top for you here at the 2014 the Nike Explosion event here at Wheeler High School, just north of Atlanta in Marietta. We want to thank Crossover uh, as well as Nike. Nike with the with the uh, the instant replay there. You see Malik Burnett knock down one of his four threes on the afternoon. On his way to helping lead Lee to the 57-45 W to start 
the 2014 Nike Explosion. When we come back, we'll bring you second half game action, or second, second game action between Laney out of Augusta and Pebblebrook out of Cobb County here on TV.com. <laughs> 